Tjena tjena everyone and today I've actually gotten the chance to try out a Suron Light B Off-Road And now I actually got the chance to test this out on a small MX track my friend has And uh, so we got the FPV drone, we're gonna head out, I'm gonna show you the track and let's get started So we're gonna go with the GoPro for now and on the bike here and we're gonna do a full lap and we're gonna test out and see how it works with the GoPro and the benefit with this it's so quiet so I can actually talk while I'm riding I guess but um, I suspect there will be a lot more wind noises but anyways let's head out go for a full lap and we have the first jump but it's a bit too a bit too, too slow Second, no problem, and here we have the first real corner, and this is so nice because it handles so well, I have no problem. We would like some more power, can you actually clear this? Yes, yeah, we cleared it. It's a small jump, but I don't know, I, I weigh a lot, so. And these corners are so nice to take because the bike is so small, you have no problem sucking in, so you can keep the... Here we are, jump. So you can actually keep your weight so centered and also the brake pads are really noisy as you can hear and I actually heard that you can replace them with normal mountain bike brake pads and uh, you can stop the squeaking I guess you can also upgrade the power and everything of course oh, I really need to get, get more training done but anyways this was a lot of fun and let's cut to the technical stuff okay so we're done on the track and now we're gonna head out on this field here and we're gonna do a speed test. We actually have a speed indicator here. Uh, you can see now it's on zero. And I'm also gonna use an app on my phone and see how fast we can actually get up to. Now keep in mind, I weigh 120 kilos. And uh, here's the, I don't know the weight in, uh, in your American terms. But uh, we're gonna head down and you see that end of the field where the tower is, that's the only way I can stretch because on the other side there I can't actually go because it's, I don't have uh, the permission to ride there. Uh, but I'm gonna cut her GoPro and we're gonna ride out and see how fast we can go. back home again and now I've cleaned all the muck off and I thought we could go through the bike and show the different parts and what you get when you buy a bike uh, when you buy a Suron Light B off-road. Now here in the back you have the 19 inch wheels uh, these are I find this to grip really well I'm really happy with it so I don't really feel like I have to replace them or anything like that and the typical chain and sprocket here uh, should be a 48 yeah and here we have the foot peg as well. Now these are fairly soft uh, pegs, uh, so they won't hurt you or if you have normal sneakers or stuff like that. But for going off road, I would like some more aggressive pegs, to be honest, so you don't slip off as easy. Uh, here we have the suspension. It's made from a DNM, I think they're called. And I've never seen these before, but I'm really happy with these because they held up really well and you can actually upgrade these 
It's the same type of suspension you have on a mountain bike, so you can replace them with Olin's or Fox or anything like that, that has even better suspensions. And here we have the front tire as well, it's also an in 19 inch. I would like to see a more aggressive tire, because this is a bit too hard and doesn't grip the mud as good as I was hoping for. And if you want to see my little mistake, I actually fall uh, over in the end, uh, so make sure to watch that. And here you have the DNM front forks as well. Now these are air forks. And uh, I'm happy with them, they did the job perfectly, even though I'm away too much. And you can also adjust the rebound to slower or faster, and the preload to softer or harder, of course. Going over to the brakes, now these are hydraulics, you have the back here and the front here. This has got me some time to get used to, because I'm so used to having a foot brake from the back, for the back. And you need to replace the braking pads because I find these to be really squeaky. And you can get like Shimano or some brand like that and you will have less brake fade, a lot less noise. Something really nice that they have included in the bike is a USB port here that lights up. And it's a really nice uh, addition because if you're using your phone as a GPS or just, you know, need to charge your phone uh, when you're riding around, you can do that. And we have short cable into your pocket and charge your phone up. Uh, make sure to have a short cable because you don't want to entangle it with anything else, of course. And here you have the dual LED lights in the front. This always lights up when you have the key on and you can't actually switch from high beam or low beam or anything like that. They're always on when you're riding. And in the back, you have this red light here. Now this does not work as a braking light, but it's always on and illuminates you from the back. Uh, a really nice safety feature that actually included in the stand is when it's down, you can't gas and it won't go. You have to get it up and now it will go. That's really good because you can't hear the engine, so no one accidentally just gas it away when it's standing. Something also have is two modes here. Uh, one really slow mode, it's about half the power and you put on sport and we'll go full on. Well, that's all for us and make sure to subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye!